Hello and welcome to ARK, the complete series. Well today me and Sparky here, we're, we're actually outside of a cave. And this cave, it leads to a terminal. And through that terminal you can actually transport yourself to the actual forest titan. Well, it doesn't actually quite work like that. I mean, if you're, if you're on the actual island map, for example, there are three guardians that you need to take on. Uh, what you would do is you'd go to different caves, gather different artifacts and you usually like hoard quite a lot of them to save you having to keep going back to the caves but then you'll go to a beacon and then you'll use those tributes plus the actual you know artifacts that you've got and you'll then be transported to some arena where you actually take on the boss but it's a bit different with extinction and I must admit I do quite like it because with this one it's much more open world it's pretty much just like a one-off um, visit into a cave or rather, every time you want to summon the boss, you actually just go into the cave. Because with this, what you have to do is... We, had, we would have to work our way through that cave, find the artifact, and then, you know, obviously we'd bring our tributes with us, but then we'd go to a terminal, and then we'll just present all of those uh, items to the actual terminal, and it'll transport us to somewhere else on the open world map. Uh, which is a lot more flexible, I must admit. I really do like that because before you, like on the island, you're limited to say like you know, twenty um, dinos, for example, plus you know so many players or something. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot. I, I think it's a lot easier. I mean, you've still got a big battle ahead of you if you're going to go through these caves until you actually get up to tech, because then you can just pretty much just fly through. I mean, some of the caves. Well, I think one of the caves. There's nothing actually on the terminal itself, so it's it's pretty easy to just work your way through. You've only just got to be able to um, get the artifact. But um, before we can actually take on the forest titan who, you know, we've got to go into this cave to summon, we actually need all of the actual tributes. So that is what me and Sparky are going to be going out to do. Well, actually it's not just me and Sparky, because there's a, there's a few different tributes that you need. And I'll just have a look. So... Like all of them, you're going to need Corrupted Hearts, and you need a lot of them. Uh, when it comes to the Forest Titan, you're going to need Sauropod Vertebrae. So they're, they're pretty easy to get, you just go after the, like, the Brondos and the um, uh, Diplodocus or Diplodocus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I can easily do those with, you know, with their uh, Spargy here. Um, Rexes as well, we need the Tyrannosaurus Arms. But it's the, it's the Corrupted Hearts, I always had trouble with those when I first played Extinction, but I found an, a really easy way to actually gather them. And that is by having one of these big beasties, a Giganotosaurus. So I've, I've actually brought three of them over from the island. Uh, Birdie, I think that's Birdie over there, isn't it? Yeah, Birdie over there, he has a, he's actually got a saddle, he's got an Ascendant saddle. I brought that over from Scorched Earth because I found that while I was looking around. So I've come over uh, from the island. I bred these three up. So there's Birdie over there, there's Bertha over there, and I think that one's Betsy. Yeah, there's Betsy over there. Because basically, I've got other plans for these um, these gigas. Uh, basically, it's a case of I want a male and I want a female so I can do my, uh, well, I can get my mating boost out of them. Uh, so they can do a lot more damage. I mean, these, these things will do a heck of a lot of damage anyway, to be honest. But I didn't bother with any mutations. I was doing some breeding on the island. But these are just, well, they're just basically descended from a, a 145 giga that I got it quite a while back uh, during my playthrough on the island. And I did do quite a bit of breeding when it came to like, trying to get mutations in melee, but yeah, most people probably wouldn't bother with that sort of stuff, to be honest. So it's a case of, since I want to try and find a, an easy way for everyone to just get uh, the corrupted hearts, these, these ones, are just they've just been bred from the male and the female. The exception is Betsy because out of sheer luck, uh, she actually has a mutation. I don't know what it actually is in, but she's got like two extra levels. Uh, I'm kind of curiosity. See so her on three four, three four, three four. So it doesn't look as though it's that. Melee is two fifty six. This is the trouble with the gigas; they get seriously nerfed when they're tamed. Yes, yeah, so whatever it is, it isn't in health or melee, which. Doesn't really matter. Stamina, stamina, stamina is only four hundred and five. <laughs> Man, uh, so it's not that. So it's it's nothing. It's not as whatever it is. It's not a stat I'm interested in particularly. 
But yeah, these things get seriously nerfed. I mean, they're, they're not too bad uh, the team. It's a case of you just drag them into a um, into a you know a taming pen. So you've got some gates. Drag them into there, so they'll, they'll get trapped on a bear trap. And then just put a, get another gate behind them, and that's it. So they've got to be metal gates, though. And then it's a case of trying to stay as far away from them as possible. Trank them with uh, shocking trank darts, and then keep them mocked out with the yeah uh, the biotoxin while you uh, give them the. Uh, the kibble to get them to tame. So I was really lucky because I got a 145 female, but it doesn't really matter because, like I say, these things get seriously nerfed anyway. So the plan is, I'm going to take uh, Birdie here. I mean, I've actually got another blueprint. I've got quite a few blueprints dotted around that I've got from on the island as well as um, other places, I think. But Birdie here has actually got this one. Like I say, I got this one from Scorched Earth. So that's a that's a pretty good one. That I think 88 uh, armor class. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop him into a cryopod. Oh, his health seems to be coming back up because these are just pretty much brand new. I just bred them on the island uh, as soon as they matured. Well, I say as soon as it took it took ages just to actually hatch the blue and egg, let alone actually get them to mature. Even even on my setting, it just took forever. And that's why I haven't bothered bringing any over that have actually got uh, mutations because that that would just it would take anybody like months if anything. So yeah, like. The plan is, we're going to go out in search of, well, with me and Sparky, we'll, we'll just take on the T-Rexes and the, um, uh, you know, the, the Brontos, the Plodicuses and what have you. But we'll be using their birdie there, he'll help us get the Corrupted Hearts. So, first things first, I need to go and get myself some food and water, and then we'll head out and start getting our actual tributes. See you in a while. Right then, so we are actually over at, well, I'll show you where we are. If we go and have a look on the map, we're right down in the far southeast corner, about 86, 63. So we've come over to here, uh, because that's where I know I can get Corrupted Hearts using Birdie here. Actually, I'm going to just change your settings, mate, because... Let's see if we can change your harvesting options, so... Well, disable the resources. So you shouldn't collect resources now. So, out of curiosity, let's see if we go eat this. Right, we eat that. We haven't actually gathered anything. So that should that should help because otherwise his pockets are going to get like seriously, seriously full. The only drawback is you don't get much out of points for these things. You get diddly squat when it comes to health. That's a yes. I'm not going to bother with that. But the reason I'm over here is, well, the last time I was playing on Extinction, I found, well, a nice little area where we can get Corrupted Hearts, and the Giga seems to be ideal for it, because other dinos that I was using, they didn't actually harvest things like the Corrupted Hearts, for example, or any other the, of the tributes that, that you actually get. Instead, usually what happens is they just get dropped on the floor. So it was a case of I was having to get off the actual dino You've got something like 10 seconds, which is nuts. 10 seconds to then grab the, you know, whatever is in that bag. And the trouble then is it's a case of, well, if there's anything else, it's going to, it makes it next to a, well, it's not impossible, it's just extremely time consuming. But if you've got a Giga, what I was finding was that these things, they seem to do much, much better for harvesting those, you know, actual tributes. So there was less times that I was having to actually get off the Giga. Uh, than any other dino that I had. So this is where we are at, right down in the southeast of the map. So we've got things like corrupted wivens, we've got um, corrupted parasas, uh, we should have rexes, I think it was an alpha rex around here at one point. Uh, you can, sometimes I've seen rock drakes as well. So oh there's an alpha uh, rex over there. So we haven't gathered anything from those raptors. Oh, there you go, Bertie. You've already got a level. Oh, there's a uh, there's a Reaper King as well. Right, so let's see what we can get out of these parasites. Oh, there you go. Seven corrupted parts. Let's take this Alpha Rex. Now, I must admit, uh, when it comes to the Alpha Rex, what I've done is, because I spotted that, I deliberately got um, a little chimney. 
So, oh, we've got two, we've got two actual teeth off you. So these, so so far we're getting 11, oh wow, we're up to level 13. So out of curiosity, what, what do we get for one level for health? So three, four, six, three, two. It's not worth it. Incidentally, I found out, I think it was Betsy. Yeah, Betsy, she's actually got a mutation in food, so that's not much use to me. Right, let's push your level up there. Seriously? You, you've got to be kidding me. I <laughs> can't believe they're actually going up for a big digging. So there's rock drakes over there, so I don't think we'll get anything off the corrupted uh, stigmas. But like I said, I'm, I'm trying to make my life a bit easier here, so I've disabled the actual harvesting. But we're still doing item collection. So there's a Bronto over there, for example. So we should get a like sauropod vertebrae off that thing. There you go. So we're still getting the main items, which is exactly what we want. We just don't want the um, all the extra stuff. I don't want to just keep gathering clothes and clothes and make for example. I mean, okay, we're getting things like berries and what have you, but at least it's gonna make my life easier. I won't have to keep everything in his pocket so I can... But somewhere through... I remember somewhere through playing Extinction they introduced this extra feature where they... Originally, you you, you know, your dinosaur's got a, a weight limit. It can only carry so much in weight. But then they introduced this feature where you can only carry so many items as well and that really messed things up for me. Because I've got like dinos, especially things like the, um, the Thylacolios for instance, where they... They just harvest things. They are extremely good at harvesting. And the trouble then was it's a case of, well, I was having a, you know, I wasn't barely picking up anything. I just pick up tons of meat, prime meat, and so on, particular. And it would just run out of room or just suddenly stop collecting anything else. So that wasn't any good. But because I've turned off that feature to actually gather um, and do harvesting, we don't have that problem up there with bird here. That's not bad, 1,602 damage. Oh, there you go, we've got two crooked hearts. Oh no! We're getting covered in acid. So that's pretty good so far, I mean, we're getting a... Well, there's a wyvern around there somewhere. I think it's chasing the gas bags. Let's see if we can... The trouble is, he, he's got hardly any stamina. <laughs> oh, there's a Rex. At least I can get the Rex down there while I'm at it. Thank you very much for your contribution. Come here, Rexy. Where's Rexy baby gone? There it is, there. Right, so, so far, I mean, we need... We need ten of these. We need ten of these. And we need a hundred of these. So, I mean, I'm going to need... I mean, it's nuts when you think about it. And just to take on the three Guardians, I need three hundred of, uh, of these things. But that's pretty good, because we also need the... Um, the actual talons thing. I think this one of them might need talons. I can't. I can't remember. I'm only focusing on, on the actual uh, forest type for now. It's uh, I think it's one of the easiest ones. The actual, the actual ice type isn't all that difficult to do. I don't think that was a difficult one. I think the the biggest hassle I had was doing the, uh, the desert type, just because of the fact that it's it's up in the air. I mean, that can get um, you know Rex armies, for example, to take on. The actual forest titan or the, uh, the actual uh, ice titan, for example. But uh, the desert titan was really tricky. Just because the fact you don't have many dinos that fly around in the air and they've got that, that annoying feature where they've got their, uh, their little minions coming up after you knock you off your, um, off your saddle and then they've got lightning strikes and all sorts. But uh, I think I found that one to be the hardest one. But. Getting these tributes is an absolute doddle. It, it is, it's just a case of just going around, clearing everything out. Oh, whoa, we've got another, oh, that's cool, we've got another uh, Alpha Rex. Out of curiosity. Uh, what are we up to? So you're, you're on about 2,880. I mean, to be honest, we won't get that many uh, points going in there. I'm just trying to remember what I call What did I call you? Nog? Yeah, Nog. Nog won't get any sort of XP, because it, it ends up as a shared experience, you know, we, we get a certain amount of experience because Birdie here is the actual one there. So no, no, it's not going to get the shout of it. We get more of it. If I actually kill the Rex, uh, it would get more. 
Uh, that's not bad. It's about a couple of thousand, I suppose. So you've got another five levels. Ooh, cool. But at this stage, I'm just I'm just walking around basically, and yet the idea is just clear this whole area out, just take everything out with birdie. I mean, I'm not running around too much, so although he's got like low, really low stamina, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I can just just wander around. By the time by the time I get back around in a loop, most things have respawned anyway. Uh, it's a really good area, so. Just remind me, we're down at we're now down at ninety fifty eight. So I, I found that to be an extremely useful uh, area for getting these things. But yeah, just keep clearing these out. You'll get um, you'll get tons of crooked parts eventually. It's, it's a lot easier when you've got a gigger. Hmm. Now, sauropod vertebrae. I think that's probably. Another better area to get them. Same as the Rex arms, I must admit. I'm just fo I only came here specifically to focus on the Oh wow, look at that! They actually they actually spawned right in front of us. What do you know? Right, I'll tell you what. Um actually we won't get that Rex up there. There are better areas to get the uh, Things like the, uh, you know, the sauropod vertebrae and the rexes. The rexes are it's the lord of them over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, just hot air here. So now we're up to four of them, and I only need, I only need the ten of them. I can't believe these things that, like are, are actually trying to attack Bertie here. They've got to be crazy. But what I think I'm going to do? Are you, are you done? Okay, right, alright. <laughs> I wanna have a look over. Oh, it's probably a bad thing to do because if he falls off he's gonna take a lot of fall damage. I wanna have a hit over to here because what I was looking for originally was for the actual Brontos because normally there was like a ton of Brontos used to, to spawn around here. Now when I came over here with uh, Sparky I wasn't seeing any which, yeah, I was a bit miffed at that, because before there used to be a, a lot of these... Uh, a lot of them would actually spawn right here. So I'm not sure where they've disappeared to, to be honest. They'll be out there somewhere. I mean, we're getting things like the, uh, like the ones down there anyway. Wow. You won't hit that thing. Well, yeah, 1,704 damage. I mean, there's not, it's nothing particularly wonderful about this, this Giger, I mean, you know, I didn't get it with any, um, any mutations, I just went one day, I just happened to see this 145 female uh, Giga, and I just decided to tame it there and then, because I'm going to go need it here down the line for uh, this very reason. That's one, of the, that's one of the things I really like about Extinction, because normally I would never have bothered with um, Giga's. It wasn't until I got the extinction that I suddenly saw that I actually found a really good use for them. No, not seen any around here. There used to be, I know, when I, when I last, um, I've never only played Extinction when it actually first came out. But there was, uh, there was a lot of, uh, well, I'll give one out here. There was a lot of these uh, Brontos around here. I mean, I noticed there was, we had one or two spawned around, and like I say, we only. In the, in the grand scheme of it, I only need 10 of them. So I, I should be okay, because I mean, when you think about how many of these um, broken hearts I'm going to need anyway, I'm going to have to stay around that area for a while, no matter what, just to be able to get all of those broken hearts. We'll just have a bit of a wander around, just have to be rusty to see if there's any more. I know the last time I was here, there was, there was just a one of these Brontos. Put that in your mouth. Seriously? <laughs> you accidentally started taking, trying to take a chunk out of birdie then. Uh, maybe if I clear out these. I don't know, maybe they share a spawn point or something. I mean, the corrupted dinos spawn like really, really quickly. 
Because I remember it's one of the reasons I don't like to to come out here and try to tame anything out in this open land. Because they they actually respawn so quickly these corrupted dinos. And then they start attacking, you know, like the end, the base, whatever it is that you set up outside. And, and they can do serious damage to, to things like stone, for instance. First time I played Extinction, I, I set up a trap and it just didn't last five minutes. Even something as simple as a, like a, a, a tripe was just completely trashing my uh, my taming pen. Mm. Well, no sign of any of these bronze, so do a kind of a brief sprint in this direction. Because it's a case of I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to get much out of bird here if I prepare to try to sprint. Seriously? I mean if anything I'm actually get I'm actually getting quite a lot of points by doing this. So that's not a good thing as well. I've got quite a lot of garbage there, but I seem to be doing pretty well considering how lot Oh there's two over there. Oh cool. Oh, I've got to get to them before that. I suppose before the corrupted dinos do. I'm surprised those parasars uh, are parasars aren't going out. Because normally like the uh, corrupted dinos will have to eat everything. I mean, you've got like even herbivores that start attacking things. It's weird. Oh, heck. Berkey is going to need some um, stamina. He's going to run out of stamina before I get. Uh, oh, they. Oh, they you got an extra level then, did you? Maybe? Possibly? Right, so we're up to 37 Corrupted Hearts. Uh, four, four of the vertebrae. Oh, we've already got all, we've got all of the arms that we need. So I only need another six vertebrae and, uh, well, about another 63 of these Corrupted Hearts. So that's not too bad, I mean, I haven't been, you know, only been at it for a short amount of time. That's pretty much all there is to it, to be honest. Just a case of just wander around this little area, clear everything up, basically. And then you'll get all these corrupted dinos and spawn. And quite a few of them give you the corrupted parts. It just makes like way much easier when you've got a gig. I mean, it doesn't have to be even anything up to this this spec. I mean it's just the way arc of like um the giggers. I mean out in the wild these things have got seriously high levels. And then they get well, yeah, they, they, they just get uh, nerfed when uh, by the time they're tamed. And it's actually quite interesting is that one thing i found is that the figures that are in the actual um, in the tech cave are even weaker than your tamed figures, it seems, for some strange reason. Because I managed to clear them ones out with the uh, with a bunch of um, tickle chickens that I had. So it's a case of... Yeah. So I'm getting crooked parts. I don't get any the sauropod vertebrae out of there. I'm just going to have to... Okay. I'm just going to have to rely on getting those uh, vertebrae off the vertebrae. I think that, that thing had finished roaring by the time uh, by the time I'd killed it anyway. So, um, right, so I guess I'm just going to have to keep wandering around here. Uh, for probably not that much longer at this rate, and then I'm I'm going to be done. We'll be ready to take on the actual forest time. But that's all for another episode.